So lack of confidence, I feel like is such a common theme that a lot of us art therapists and therapeutic art facilitators have. And we experience this so many times, no matter at what point in our career we are in. And especially when we are trying to do our own business, this just inevitably comes up and it becomes a kind of obstacle in actually taking steps to get clients, promote ourselves and do the work that we really want to do. So we're going to talk about lack of confidence today, but this is going to be a little different. Um, You know, we often think that we are lacking confidence, right? We think, oh, if only I had confidence. If only I had, I had confidence, I can do so many things. I can do this, I can do that. I can market myself. I can get more clients. I can have more successful business, right? Um, but I'm going to give you a little different perspective here. It's not a, I think that sometimes we go and try to get confidence. Um, and I'm going to present to you a different way to feel more confident right so a lot of times i think what happens is we see ourselves as an anxious person we see ourselves as a less confident person maybe someone who lacks certainty maybe someone who's doubtful and insecure Um, so we see that the problem is the lack in confidence and and that's something that we do not have it yet right but The real problem is not that we don't have the confidence and we need to get it. It's just somewhere out there. (laughs) But the problem is we are actually denying our desires. We are resisting desires. We are not accepting it when it's already here. So let me explain what this really means. So you know how, you know, sometimes help clients and especially if we approach it from uh what we often know as shadow work perspective uh where we try to accept the part of ourselves that we do not like right for example we try to accept ourselves that's not confident quote unquote so ourself who is anxious we're doubtful maybe feeling uncertain um but what i'm saying here is like no you don't need to solve this from that point of view because it often feels very challenging to do that anyway (laughs) and also we sometimes get into the path of trying to get something different right trying to get the thing that's outside of us um but that's a little bit of a mm, uphill battle you know but what i'm saying here is you actually you don't have you can forget about all that you actually just need to accept your desire it's very simple. The, the desire here is confidence, right? The confident you. So what I'm saying here is accept the confidence you already have within you. <laughs> it's default. You have what you have, what you desire right now. It's here. That confidence you want is already there. The reason why you want it is because you already know what confidence is. And how do you know what confidence is? Because you already have it. So it's already there actually. But my our, you know, minds are playing tricks on us. <laughs> um and it's already there. It, it it exists. It's inherent. God gave it to you already uh when you were born. And even if you forgot that you had it, you ask for it again, so you already have it. You already have it because you wanted it. Now, the only reason you don't you, you don't feel like you have the confidence or have whatever it is that you desire, the feeling state, is that you see it's right there in front of you. It's like right there in front of you. And you're saying to yourself, I can't have it. That's all. That is the only reason why you don't have it. Or why you, <laughs> you already have it, but <laughs> it doesn't feel like you have it. <laughs> so it's like um, you wanted a beautiful dinner. You wanted a beautiful dinner, a yummy del- dinner. It's all, so it's all served up on the dinner table for you. You didn't have to lift a finger. You're at the table. You, you, you're sitting at the table but you're saying to yourself i can't have this dinner 
that's how it is. <laughs> it's right there. It's served up to you all in a nice bowl. Why? Why is it already there? Because you're loved. You're worthy. God loves you. Of course, you're going to get everything you want. You have everything you want. You are good enough. So the only job you have here on earth and in your business <laughs> and in terms of work too as an art therapist and therapeutic art facilitator is to accept those gifts. What is the gift? Your desire. And here we're talking about confidence. So confidence is given to you. You just have to accept that you are confident. Yes, you are. Accept your confident self. And if you don't feel confident, ask, what am I telling myself that make me resist and not accept that? What am I telling myself that make me resist and reject that? So I had the opportunity to work on myself recently and I had this realization and that's why I'm sharing this in this episode, but I had this realization in my business. Um, I had a desire about my business and I was like, I realized this, that the only reason why I don't have that desire within my business is because I'm not accepting it even if it is right in front of me. <laughs> so... I ask myself, what am I telling myself that make me reject this thing that's already here? Because I am the only one who's not accepting it and that's why I feel I don't have it. And so I asked myself and I came to this conclusion. The answer was, I do not deserve it. I, I am not worthy to have this thing. Um, so, you know, there were some other answers, but ultimately it came down to that essence that I do not deserve. So you probably, when you sit down and ask this question to yourself, when you assume that you already have what you want uh, and you just ask yourself, I don't feel that way, so what am I telling myself that make me resist that? You will probably come to the answer that oh, somehow inside of us, a part of you is saying, I do not deserve confidence or I do not deserve whatever XYZ thing that you want with your business. Um, and the another, another maybe common answer that you might, you know, find yourself come down to is, uh, the fear of feeling disappointed or, or scolded, you know, before when you were confident, right? You know how, when we were kids, we, we were all confident. We were a bundle of confidence. A lot of times, even if we were a lot of times, um, the more careful ones, the more quiet ones, we definitely had a lot of confidence when we were little, probably compared to how we are right now. Um, and so think of it when we were kids or when you were a kid, did you ever feel disappointed or were you ever scolded because you were confident, you were acting confident? And so there were, might have been instances where you felt disappointed, let down, where you were scolded or where you were criticized when you acted upon your confidence. And so it, you know, our brains register that as, uh oh, no, no, no. Doing being confident equals this unpleasant experience, right? Um, and so we have that, right? And so you might realize that, and that is a big, big realization, I think. Um, however, I think your job is not to focus on that reason or dwell on those reasons, but to realize that it's just your decision now. See how when you ask yourself, what am I telling myself that made me resist and reject the confident self, my confidence. Um, you will realize that it's me, it's my thought that's making me not accept the gift in front of me, making me not accept the confident feeling that is accessible, that is already within me. And so um, it's not to, you know, you don't, we don't ask that question, what am I telling myself, to the reason behind the resistance, and rejection. We don't ask that question to delve into those reasons, but to realize that it's our decision. It's a thought, right? For me, to give you an example, the phrase, I don't deserve it, is just a thought, 
right? It is my thought. It's in my head. It's in my mind. Uh, it's not really existing. Nobody can see it objectively, <laughs> right? It's in my head. And so it is my decision. So we all come back to this, that it is a decision, one decision to accept the confidence, the gift that's already there. Remember the dinner table. It's already there. <laughs> um, so open your heart to confidence. Welcome it. Imagine you welcoming it with, it with open arms. How can you celebrate that confidence that's already there? Um, how can you make it a very nice place for confidence to enjoy itself, right? Kind of personifying confidence here, um, which oftentimes we do with our work. When we do uh, a lot of like gestalt work in art therapy or therapeutic art, we go into the artwork, right? And also um, just will use a lot of imagination to pretend, right? To use metaphors. So here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to imagine how can I make it a nice place for this being that's called confidence to enjoy him or herself. Like how can I be the host of that confidence? And so that's how I think we can really accept the confidence that's already in us. It's already there. And this all applies to um, any kind of desire that we have, whether that's having a client, whether that's having a booming, successful, profitable online art therapy business, whether that is scaling or any kind of like income goal or any kind of like feeling goal that we have within our work and personal life. And so think of it this way, like it is a matter of acceptance. It's sometimes really hard. I totally understand it. Acceptance of that desire that we have, right? The acceptance of the positive, right? We are just, a lot of times when we come up to a challenge and we're struggling uh, with mindset stuff, um, especially with our business, we're just denying our desires oftentimes, denying that it's already there, denying that we have it. Uh, denying that part of ourselves that does have what it is that we want. So hope that this was really, really helpful and you enjoyed the art making process as well. Thank you again for being here with me. I'm going to come back with another episode to help you with your online art therapy and therapeutic art business. So have a good one and I'll speak to you next time. <laughs>